Hey, how's it going out there, YouTube? Uh, you got Mike here. And the inevitable happened. The rope on my troll motor broke a few days ago. So I uh, bought the cable kit to uh, place the rope. I bought this neat little clevis here that the cable went into. Because I have a Minn Kota Edge and the way it's designed, you have this boxed unit here. The rope comes through this section into the box and here to this loop. And that what operates, that operates the locking pins so you can deploy your trolling motor. I had to cut part of the aluminum out to make this big clevis fit and it only lasted one day about uh, maybe six or seven times deploying the trolling motor and pulling it back up. Thankfully it broke at the last plot spot I was fishing so and I was able to pull the troll motor back up I keep tools on board so now I got to figure out another way to route this cable in and fasten it so I won't have this problem again so I'm gonna try to take pictures and film it the best I can on my cell phone I had actually filmed the first install of the cable with a GoPro clone and of course the video turned out horrible so I didn't get any of that on tape. So I'm just using my cell phone today. And uh, hopefully we can help somebody else out that may have the same problem. All right, so here's what I've done. I got the uh, ferrule and stop kit, Lowe's hardware. It's the same place I got the hand on the cable. The cable is actually 3 30 seconds but with a nylon coat. So I trimmed back maybe six inches. I threaded, a, threaded it through the uh, locking mechanism. I put a washer on there and I actually put two stops on the end. If one slips, the other will catch. I do not have the crimp tool so like I kind of grew up, you comp you uh, improvise, you adapt. So I got a four by four block here. This is pretty dang stable. I just took a hammer. This is an aluminum box channel. And I just gave it some gentle wax. It's really soft aluminum, doesn't take much. And then all you gotta do is thread it back through there. And we should have a working trolling motor handle. All right, so hopefully keep my big finger out of the way. And I am outside working. And so this is what you get. Pulls it tight, re releases the pins. And it's that simple, but it was a pain. So here we're gonna do the final test. I'm actually in the boat. And my cable was four foot long to my handle. Pull. Just walk it out and let it go. The cable is a lot, I uh, wouldn't say really sensitive, but it's a, a tight connection where the rope would actually give a little. So I hope this video helps anybody out that has the Minn Kota Edge. Probably can't see it. And uh, makes their install of the new cable a little bit less painful. Thanks for watching.